Knights of the Old Republic, Lego. What is going on everyone? Rex here with my very first Lego set ideas video. Today guys, my theme I'm going to be talking about is going to be about an awesome Star Wars role playing game called Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And this game is so much fun guys. If you have not played it, it is a very old old classic star wars game it's on steam i recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out there's two of them there's code tour and there's code tour 2 sith lords and we've covered the first one in this video and this is going to be a bunch of sets i tried to just gain the entire experience of the nice little republic game within so let's go ahead and get started with the list of boundaries i'm going to be going in for this set idea all right guys, so here I'm at with my list of things to follow that I pretty much made to follow to make these set ideas. So as you can see, the things I'm gonna follow is a mixture of some of the, how sets came out in waves for the Star Wars series, like back in 2014 when they started like the four battle packs. And also there's a mixture of some different uh, years of waves for set lines and themes that Lego did um, for the past handful of years. So let's go over the list. The first is there's, there's going to be four battle packs, three of the $15 to $25 sets, a $30 to $45 set, two of the $50 to $75 sets, a $90 to $100 set, two of the $120 sets, your UCS, which is the Ultimate Collector Series. And we're gonna go four micro fighters, three buildable figures, and two brick heads. If I were to go ahead and expand this list, I would definitely say here and add the old Planet Series that Lego had for the Star Wars line. I love the Planet Series stuff, but I did not add that for this. Let's go for the first battle pack. It is going to be called the Star Forge Troopers Battle Pack. This is going with four minifigures being a Dark Acolyte, a Sith Commando, a, and two Sith Troopers. The build for this battle pack, because battle packs are kind of like smaller builds, would be a defense turret based off of the Star Forge, which is pretty much like the heavy defense turret, if I remember correctly, from the game itself. This battle pack, like all these battle packs, would definitely be around that $15 price range. So the second battle pack is going to be the Endar Spire Troopers. This would be your Republic Builder, just like the Star Wars Troopers battle pack would be your Sith Empire building set. So this is going to also come with four minifigures. It's going to come with two Republic soldiers, one with a melee weapon, preferably the double-bladed sword that they had in the game itself, and the other, a ranged weapon, most likely would be a stud shooter. The third minifigure will be an astromech, a T3 series astromech, or just one of the old Republic-style astromech droids. And then also a Jedi preferably the female Jedi, un unidentified female Jedi from the game itself. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, a lot of nostalgia built up for that. And also, when's the last time you had a female Jedi in a battle pack? Oh, I guess the Jedi and Clone Troopers battle pack. Anyways, and the build for that battle pack would be like the opening, the barracks, your bed, your footlocker, weapons rack, etc., etc., and that kind of stuff. Your third battle pack is going to be an oddly named battle pack, but the reason of the battle pack is very um, explainable. Uh, it's going to be called the Star Map Guardians Battle Pack. This is going with four minifigures, being a Tusken Raider to symbolize the star map on Tatooine, an Oracle which is pretty much why I'm calling the name of the ancient droids, um, the ancient droid who guarded the star map on Dantooine, a Wookiee to symbolize the star map on Kashyyyk, or in Kotor terms, Kashyyyk, 
and a cell calf, which is the fish species from Manon to symbolize the star map on Manon. The build of this would be, of course, a star map itself. I think that would be a really cool Lego idea set. Um, definitely just a very nice Lego idea set for a nice little battle pack. I think Lego should give that one a try. So the fourth and final battle pack I'm going to be going over in my set of ideas, or my list of ideas, I'm sorry, is going to be the Bounty Hunters Battle Pack. Again, four minifigures. And this is going to be all those thugs and stuff that meet you in the game. Um, the first one being, of course, a Mandalorian. Um, the second one being just a mercenary. The picture I have on here is a Selkath mercenary. And the third one being a Duros thug. And the fourth one being a human thug. The build of this would be a pretty cool build. It would be a nice swoop bike. I think it would be pretty cool to have an actual official Lego swoop bike. Because who wouldn't want to have that like the background of like any mock with a town or city. Like that would be pretty cool. So moving on to the first um, actual set. This is going to be $24. It's going to be called the Kalo Nord Kashyyyk Showdown. This is with three minifigures, um, the first one being Kalonord himself, a Wookiee thug, and then also Revan, who is the player. Um, the builds in this set would be like maybe the basket elevator, maybe one or two swoop bikes, or a tree, um, maybe all of them, just a combination of some of them, but something along those lines to really show that it's Kashyyyk, and then also Kalonord and Thug, like the swoop bikes. Um, so that is the $24 set called Kalonord Kashyyyk Showdown. The next $24 set is going to be called the Darth Bandon Encounter. It's going to have three minifigures as well. It's going to be Darth Bandon himself, Juhani, and T3M4. The build of this would be the hall is a hallway type of build with the doorway and some extra detail for combats. If you guys remember, I believe it was 2013, Lego released a set of, I believe which was just called the Battle of Geonosis or Duel on Geonosis. And it came with Yoda, Count Dooku, and Poggle the Lesser. And they had like the combat options for Yoda and like different details. Like something along those lines, but um, also focused on the Manon hallway, like that planet's Darth Bandit encounter. The next set is, an, is also a $24 set. It's going to be called the Droid Shop on Tatooine. This, again, three minifigures. And it would be one of them being HK-47, the Ithorian Seller. And again, Revan, the player as well. The build of this would be the droid store, like kind of like a Yoda's hut type thing, like, you know, the Octu training, like, you know, um, like a nice little build with like maybe um, a small bar for the Thorian, like for his selling, and then a little placement area for HK. Um, I think that would be a pretty nice set to have, and I think it would just be pretty cool. It would be a nice way to get HK 47 and get a, an Thorian minifigure. So the next set is going to be called the Manon Cantina. This is going to be a $40 set. It's going to have five minifigures. The first one being a bartender, of course. It's a cantina. The second one being Jolie Bindo. Um, the third one being a Sith officer, preferably female, for a reason, because if you guys know the game, you would know that. The fourth character or minifigure being a mercenary. And then the fifth one being Candorous Ordo. Um, the reasons for these minifigures like Joel Lee's because Joel Lee's story in the game actually leads you and continues on into Manon. And Candorous just because of the fact that he's an X-Man. Well, he's not an X-Man anymore, but he was a Mandalorian, turned to a mercenary. So, like, with other mercenaries being there on Manon, I think that would be a pretty nice minifigure to have there. Um, the build of this would be like a cantina, like a bar, tables, some storage areas, some details, stuff like that for a cantina. Um, so that is the Manon Cantina idea. The next idea is called the Dueling Arena. This will be a $50 set. This one will be coming with five minifigures, 
Revan, which is the player, um, nicknamed the Mysterious Stranger. You would have Bendok, Starkiller, Deadeye, Duncan, Bastila, and the Hut named Azure, who is the Dueling Arena CEO, I guess you can say. He's in charge of the Dueling Arena. And the build would be the arena, of course, maybe a little um, background area for like weapons rack and like the storage for the med packs, and then also a place for Azure himself because he is a hut. I think that would be a pretty nice set to have. Maybe wouldn't be the $50 price range, but we can hope if that were to be an actual set, that it could be around that $50. The next one is a $75 set called the Wookiee Village. This will become with six minifigures. The first one being Zalbar, the second one being Mission Veo, the third one being Zalbar's father, the fourth one being Zalbar's brother, the fifth one being a Wookiee villager, and the sixth one being a Zerka employee. The builds of this bigger set would be uh, mainly the main meeting center for the village, where the main action and drama happened in the beginning and ending of the Kashyyyk drama, Zalbar's family drama. You can also have a small Wookiee home with some storage, and you can also have like a little Zerka stand like with their own storage, like that, their kind of area, kind of built for Zerka Corporation. I think that would be a pretty nice set to have. The next one is going to be the Sith Academy, a $95 set. This one coming with seven mini figures. The first one being Revan, who is the player. You would also have the Sith Master from the game, along with the Sith Apprentice from the game. The fourth minifigure would be Dussel Onasi, who is Karth Onasi, which is the fifth minifigure, who is Karth Onasi's son, who actually joined the Sith Academy. And the story of that can go pretty interesting, depending on if you're going light or dark. The sixth character being Candorous Ordo, and the seventh character being a um, Sith Learner. The builds in this, because it's always a $100 set, is pretty simple. You have your training room, the chamber for the Sith Master, your storage areas, and your doorways and etc. to kind of connect all of that, make it detailed, oriented, and just make it look good. Add that extra detail, extra features, that kind of stuff. Again, a pretty nice set to be made in my opinion. So going on to the $120 sets, the first one being most obviously the Ebon Hawk. Come with nine minifigures. This would come with Revan, um, Karth Onassi, Candorous Ordo, Bastila, Davik Kane, T3M4, Mission Veo, Zalbar, and a Mercenary. Um, the build would be the ship itself with many features, and it would also be able to hold all of the minifigures. Um, there, I would also say that there was probably going to be some wreckage uh, build to make up for the price um, from Davit Kane's home, his uh, mansion, his big old rich home. So I think that would be a pretty nice thing to have. The second $120 set would be the Levi Bleh, I'm sorry, the Leviathan. Sorry, I butchered it the first time. It would have nine mini figures being Revan, Darth Malak, Bastila, Carthonassi, Admiral Saul, HK-47, two Sith soldiers, and a Sith technician. The main ship itself would be the build again like just like the Ebon Hawk specific areas for the minifigures but this one would have an area with the prison cells a droid room a barracks a the reveal area along with the Saul's end which would be the command bridge of the ship moving on to the UCS that will be costing $500 this one should be very Explanatory and that is the Star Forge itself. So this would come with a whopping 20 mini figures. 
The first one being Revan. The second one being Bastila. The third one being Carthonassi. The fourth one being Juhani. Then you got Jolie Bindo. Then you got Darth Malak. You got a Dark Acolyte. You got two Jedi Knights. Two of the Starforged Sentry Droids. Three of the Dark Jedi. Two Sith Troopers. One of those pesky Sith Grenaders. A Republic Soldier. And for anyone who knows the dark side ending of the game, Zalbar. The build of this would be the Star Forge. In, within the Star Forge um, factory that you would be building, like this space station, you would have the final boss area, maybe a meditation chamber, you know, your hallways and pathways, that kind of stuff. You have your barracks, you would have a small little hangar bay. You have the main core of the ship, like where Bastila is doing her ma battle meditation. You have the factory generators, like some... Details like that. Also, some extra rooms like Easter eggs. Like when you're going through the big hallway and you turn right where all the enemies are coming from. But if you turn left, you can enter that room where you get either the really awesome Jedi robes or Darth Revan's Sith robes. Depending on which side you want, light or dark. Other builds on this would be like maybe a small build of the Evan Hawk, a small Hammerhead Corvette, a small warship. A small Republic fighter and a small Sith fighter. I think that would be a pretty awesome UCS to have. So before I get to the first micro fighter, guys, I want to go ahead and just tell you guys to hit that like button because we are coming to an end of the video. So make sure you hit that like button again. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I do more Lego set idea videos. So the first microfighter would be the Ebon Hawk. The minifigure for that microfighter would be Karth Onassi. The second microfighter would be the Endar Spire, with the minifigure being Captain Trask. The third one is the Leviathan, and it would come with Admiral Saul. The fourth one would be a Sith Starfighter, it would come with a Sith Soldier. For the three buildable figures, guys, the first one is, of course, you have to have Darth Malak. The second one is just like one of my favorite characters from the game is HK-47. The decision had to come between HK-47 or Juhani. And think about the entire Lego community, I'll probably sit here and say people would want HK-47 over Juhani as a buildable figure. And then the third one being, of course, Darth Revan. I'm talking about Sith robe Darth Revan. You gotta do that. So for the two brickheads, however, I think the biggest duo in the KOTOR game is Mission Veo and Zalbar. And that is it for the brickheads, guys. That is actually it for the entire LEGO Knights of the Old Republic LEGO set ideas made by me. Um, and again, going over again, four battle packs, three of the $24 sets, like around that range, a $30 to $45 set, two $50 to $75 sets, a $90 to $100 set, two $120 sets, a UCS, four micro fighters, three billable figures, two brick heads. Guys, make sure you slap a like button. Let me know what you guys think about these sets in the comment section below. Also, make sure you check out the blog because of the fact that I will have a blog post about this subject that I want you guys to go ahead and respond to. So a link to the blog post will be in the description below as well with the rest of the social media links. Other than that, guys, I have nothing else to say but for you to have an awesome God-blessed day.